Hi, my name is Dr. Emily Perry and I lead Quillbot's education program. At Quillbot, we're building a platform that helps make writing and research less painful. In this short two-minute demo today, we're going to be looking at how to cite a web page using our citation generator. Quillbot Citation Generator can help you quickly and accurately create both in-text and full citations in APA, MLA, and Chicago styles. To cite a web page like this Nat Geo Education blog article about storytelling, we copy the URL, paste it into the citation generator, make sure our source format is set to website, pick what format or style we want the citation to be given in, we'll use APA for now, and click Cite. Quillbot will automatically pull in the relevant information needed to create the reference in your preferred format. We can review or edit the citation to add any other information we have, and if some of the important info needed to create the citation is missing, like here with the author details, you'll get a notification at the top of the page so you know to find it and add it in. When we review the article, we see it was written by Lance G. Newman II, and the article is dated May 11, 2021. So we just want to add the name, Lance G. Newman II, and check that the publication date is correct, 11 May 2021. Great. Then we click Save Citation, and it'll populate on the right side in with any other saved references we have. We can see the in-text citation, which we would use within our essay or paper when we mention any of the facts or info we pulled from that source. And when expanded, we can also see the full citation. Since we're using APA format, the full citation would go on a references page at the end of our document, which shows a complete list of the sources used. When we've got all of our sources added and are ready to make the references page, we can easily copy it to our clipboard or export the full list of citations to Word to add to our project. If we made a mistake and we're supposed to use, say, MLA instead of APA format, we can make one simple click to change it. And it's that easy. If you want to only copy a single full citation, you can do that on the upper right corner here. You can also click the pencil to open a citation's editing window. If you have a similar source and want to clone a citation, that option also lives in this upper right corner menu. And there's even a function to open a cited source, so you don't have to keep all those tabs open when you're writing. And as long as you're signed in, your citations will be saved for you, even if you close out of Quillbot. Quillbot Citation Generator is free to use online at quillbot.com backslash citation generator.